this one. Jab up. Y'all thought I won't in here. I, here I am. Honey, come on in this room and baby, when you get in here, hit share. All right? I said, come on in the room. I come on in the room. A A Jesus is my doctor. Come on, Wanda. Write down all of my scriptures. Yeah, brings me all of my medicine in my room. Um, Lord, come on in this room. Jordan Bonita. Y'all didn't know that, but that's my name too. Yes. Hello, Auntie Rose Smith. Honey, come on, Miss Thomas. Tina Martin, come on in here from Kansas City in the room. Veronica, Miss Angela, Dawn, honey, how is y'all doing? Child, your sister right here, honey, is fit to be tied, okay? I don't even know what I look like right now. And I done took a bath. And I done did so much today that... We lucky I'm standing up. I'm so, look, I'm sleep right, I, I'm probably not even right here. In reality, I'm in my bed sleep. Oh, no I'm not, I'm right here in the kitchen. But that's how I feel. Honey, I'm so doggone tired. Honey, but I said, I miss my folk. And you know sometimes you got to get, get the folk what they need and what they want and what I want. And honey, I done did so much today, all I had was a smoothie. And some water. So I said, honey, I'm going to eat me something good tonight. Show sure enough is. And that's going to be pizza. Honey, come on in here. Jordan, I'm doing good. Thank you. The family is good. Everybody is good. Thank you. Um, Nicole, you said, oh, I miss you. Oh, Nicole, honey, I miss you too. I'm so glad you're here on the live. Honey, somebody said, what's my name? Honey, I don't normally tell folks. But my real name, well, Tabitha is my real name. But my middle name is Benita. Tabitha Benita Thomas was my maiden name. And now it's Tabitha Benita Brown. So I always tell people, honey, I'm pretty brown. If you can, uh, if you know that Spanish, Benita is bonita, okay? I ain't never told y'all that story. Girl, listen. Honey, listen. So my mom and them thought I was going to be a boy when I was born, right? Surprise, I ain't, okay? Um... And so she was going to name me Jermaine Jackson Thomas after the Jackson 5. Mama, girl, I don't know what you was thinking. We've had that conversation. Um, and I came out, surprise, surprise, I ain't a boy. I'm a girl. So she ain't had no name picked out. So that's when Bewitch was, was pretty new and popular. So she loved that Bewitch child, and so she named me Tabitha because she didn't have no name picked out. So she said... You know what? I like that little girl on there. They got a little girl named Tabitha. I'm gonna name her Tabitha, but she didn't have no middle name. So the lady sitting uh, that shared the room with her, cause you know back then I guess you used to share rooms, told her a name that she had thought about using, Bonita. And Mama said, "Oh, I like that, Tabitha Bonita." Now Mama, where did you? Where did that go together? Mama, where did that go together? And that thing didn't even go together in the back seat of a car. It didn't never go together. But as time that went on. It's them word, Tabitha Bonita, and here I am. And so I always knew when I was in trouble, because she called me by that first name and middle name, Tabitha Bonita. I'd be like, oh, Lord, honey. Child, I'd be nervous, honey, thinking, honey, you, you know what's so funny? I, I used to get so scared when mama, mama called me by my first and last name. Honey, I'm talking about scared like I was going to get killed, right? I ain't never do nothing that bad. I don't think I ain't never do nothing that bad to where I should have been that scared. But that's the type of that's the type of type of respect I had for my mama and my daddy. Okay, honey, my daddy say my middle name. Honey, I my heart just, whew, my heart just got the racing. Okay, when I mean race, I'm talking like a horse racing around a track. That's how my heart used to feel. Whew. Well, that, honey, I think I just got hot thinking about it. Honey, because I, you know, I. I, I mean, I did do some things when I was younger. I did. I won't devilish or nothing, though. But I did do some stuff. Okay? I did. I did. I, I got right in the whoopings. I did. But it's all right. Look, I'm all right, ain't I? I'm, I'm live. In color. Look, all is well. 
I got butterflies on. I look like I'm flying right now. Honey, y'all like my moo-moo or whatever, whatever y'all want to call it. I call her a butterfly ooh. Hey, butterfly ooh. And I love this thing. Got it at the Ross. You know I did. Don't get brand new. Honey, if you was just getting in this room, baby, go ahead and hit share so we can get the party started. Come on in here. Um, Hey, Charlotte down there in, in Columbus, Ohio. Takesha from Jackson, Mississippi. How y'all doing? All right, Dallas. Renee, I love you. Miss you too, honey. Valerie, hello there. Girl, you right. Kids be scared of hearing their first and last name. You absolutely right. Well, uh, oh, you know what? Did I still have that picture out? I don't think I got it. We gonna start this early. Folk calling my phone. I don't know why folk doing that. Y'all know I'm on the live. Hold your mute. I'm gonna get something so I can show y'all. Hold your mute. Honey, this is the cutest thing. What was that? Oh, a piece of, piece of plastic. Look at one, one of y'all sent me this. I think her name is Eve Smith. Eve, is this you, girl? Anybody know Eve? Eve. Girl, Eve Smith, girl, is this you? I absolutely love this. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Y'all, look what she sent. She sent me a card. It says, you look radishing. Honey, and it's all these screenshots of me cutting up, doing, doing my live. Honey, ain't that cute? I thought, honey, I just thought that was adorable. Honey, thank you. I love it. My husband tried to take it to work today. talking about he's going to sit on his desk. I said, oh, not until I tell the folk thank you first. So Eve Smith, it says, positively influence lives around you by sending a card. I absolutely love you. Thank you. So anywho, tonight, I feel like I got something stuck on my tooth. Hmm. Oh, I ate up some peanuts earlier. That's what it was. If y'all see something just fly out, that's what it is, I'm sure. Okay? Um, Rita, well, welcome on in the room, honey. I take all, well, look, we take all newcomers, all old folk, anybody. Everybody's welcome in the room, okay? What you doing, buddy? Leah, she taking a little nap, I think. She tired? She not laying down in there? Oh, she might be in the bathroom then, buddy. Okay? All right. Um. So, anyway... We gonna make a pizza tonight because I got all these different veggies, and I don't want them to go bad. You know, last week we made um, pastas, and I had all kinds of stuff that I had from the cookouts to make salads this weekend. And so I got stuff left over. So, honey, ain't look, y'all know how I feel about some greens and veggies, child. They the best thing. I'm trying to tell you, Blackie, 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 cut that out. Hold your mouth, Blackie. What have I told you about that growling? What have I told you about that? Huh? You are not a bad dog. You don't do that growling. Then you cut that out. I told y'all, ever since that possum, that, that, that black, he got a little, he tried to growl and do little barking and stuff. At folk, did he know? Honey, he get real nervous, like, ooh, who is that? Oh, and just start growling. You, you're not a bad dog. You don't do that, okay? I have to calm his spirit. So you got to fly right, Blackie. Don't don't you cut up like that, not in this house, okay? You can do a little bark, a little whoop, a little bark. Barking is okay. But growl means you want to do something to somebody, and that's not good. Growl means you got a little issue, not in this house. Nobody, you ain't got no issue here, Okay? So that growling, you got to cut that out, okay? So anyway, see, he calmed his spirit down. You have to calm him down. You have to tell him, Blackie. And I give him the same eye that I give him kids. What did I tell you? That's how you got to talk to your pets. If they're going to live in the house, honey, you got to talk to them like they got sense because they got it, okay? Got more sense than you think. I'm just trying to tell you that. So anyway, I bought some gluten-free pizza crust. And I'll show y'all so y'all can get a better view and read it right. This is Mama Mary's. Okay, Mama. Look, y'all see my lights back there? Mary's gluten-free thin pizza crust. Bakes in about 10 minutes. Did you see that? And then I bought little bitty ones too. In case, uh, make Quest a little mini pizza. Okay? And I might, <clears throat> actually, 
I got a couple of them. I might make, what I'm thinking is, I was gonna make two kind of pizzas. One on, with the mini, cause I got a couple of these, cause two come in these. I was gonna do a white base pizza, okay? And then do a red base pizza. So when I say white base, I mean, use this leftover Alfredo sauce that I got, right? Cause I don't want this to go bad, even though it should be all right, but I want to use it. I don't like leaving stuff unopened in the refrigerator too long. I mean, once you done open it, I don't like leaving it in the refrigerator too long. I just don't, that's my own personal thing. So I'm gonna use some of that. And then I got this tomato basil, the organics. Um, can y'all see that? Organics, um, tomato basil. Now you know, this is just like a pasta sauce, but I like to use pasta sauce for my pizza, okay? Okay, <laughs> somebody said their dog's ears stood up when he heard Blackie bark. Honey, see, Blackie, he be cutting up. He, and he's starting riffraff in your house, okay? you Your dog is innocent. But this one over here will cause a little situation. See, let me tell you something else. I don't know if I told y'all this about Blackie. His most recent thing that he even did. Honey, how about, so the neighbors across the street, they got a little chihuahua and um, a little Jack Russell chihuahua mix. So they both real tiny dogs. The, the chihuahua was a, is a teacup. Uh, her name Marbles. Marbles is 148 years old. I don't know. I ain't seen a birth certificate, but the way she moved, she she pushing 150. She got to be pushing 150. First of all, she the size of this this jar right here. Marbles is about this big. Okay, she's little little teacup Chihuahua. If that's a thing, or a Progresso jar cup Chihuahua. She that big. Okay, ain't bigger than a pair of seconds, and she's about 148. So she, you know, she walks with a little, she can't bark, she, you know. So Black don't too much food with her. He he run around and stuff when he see her. But they got Rocket, the Chihuahua mixed with that Jack Russell, who's younger, who is like, ah, you know, all over the place. So sometimes when they out, they get to play in the front yard, right? Well, they keep their dogs outside. So they got a little fence. They just you can see the dogs in. Honey, let me fix my pizza while I'm talking to y'all. So they got a little fence where you can see the dogs. So the other day, if they not out, you know, Blackie wants to still run over there because he want to play with the dogs. But I'm trying to teach him, you don't just get to run out across the yard, running out of the yard. You don't do that. You don't. You don't just run. Run first of all in the street. Even though we live in a cul-de-sac, you don't run out nobody's yard. Okay, you don't run out the yard cross the street and run over there to go see your friends, right? Now, this is how I know he's smarter than what, what we all want to believe, okay? I told him to stop running in that street. Blackie took the sidewalk. Think I'm lying when I ain't. Honey, he, he took off, ran around the sidewalk, the same route that we walk when we go walking. Honey, he ran around the sidewalk and went over the house. It looked bad like I ain't in the street, honey. I said, Blackie, whew, good boy, very smart, but bad boy, you still left this yard, okay? But let me tell you what he did to go over there. Honey, ran over there to do what? Went and peed in, in the dog's face. The dogs was in the in the fence. They couldn't get out. Honey, he lifted his leg up and peed right, right there in their face. I said, Blackie, why would you do that? Get, get your butt over here. You know, you got to talk to him like that. Now now you got me looking like the crazy lady yelling across the yard, running. Down. Look, then me not even. See, this is when this is what makes me mad. I'm going to tell you what makes me mad. But he, he made me do crazy stuff. Make me act like I don't got no sense. Honey, the house is right in front of ours. Instead of me just running across the street to go get him. Honey, I took the sidewalk. What I'm taking the sidewalk for? It's a cul-de-sac. I could run across the street. So I run across. I run, take the sidewalk, go over there to get him. Pick him up, bring him. He looking at me like, what, what happened? I said, you know you're going to time out. You're going to time out. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Anyway, that's Blackie, y'all. I know y'all y'all know. He Oh. Y'all heard him barking, but he, he right here, but he can't come over here because he know he in time out. Because you know what he did early when that trash can. Now, we got a lid on the trash can, but the trash don't pick up until tomorrow. And this trash right here is almost full. So, it's got a little, 
about this much. I don't spend a whole lot of time talking about Blackie, but Blackie didn't work. Honey, if this afro, okay, if y'all can see close, I got gray hairs coming up through here. Those are, are Blackie hairs, okay? That's what I call them. They're not gray hairs, they're Blackie hairs. He didn't figure out a way, and I, must, I need to set up a camera to figure out how he figured out a way to open that lid. Okay, I, I, he might be pushing the pedal. Cause you know it's one of the metal ones that you push the pedal and the thing lift up. My daughter had a nectarine earlier. She finished the nectarine, so you know you had a little bit in the, in a little bit of the seed. Come back, who got the nectarine? Who got the nectarine? Blackie. He didn't eat all the rest of the fruit and left the seed by the, on the floor. Like oh, did that? That's what I'm dealing with. These children. Ain't got nothing on Blackie, okay? So, anywho, honey, how is y'all doing? Y'all got me in here cutting up on Blackie tonight. Honey, we're gonna have to have t shirts that say free Blackie because the way he be cutting up lately, child, I, I don't see. Look, the future don't look bright for him. I don't know. I, I don't have no money to be going getting Blackie in and out of jail. I just don't. He gonna, he gonna have to get his attitude together. He just rebellious. Just do what he want to do. Okay? Ain't paid a bill in here since he got here. Okay? So anyway, I'm going to use a little bit of avocado oil on my pizza crust first. And I'm going to show y'all because you know how we do. Y'all, look, y'all know y'all love to have me run my mouth when I be trying to do stuff quickly. So it's just a little bit of avocado oil on here. And this is my little brush. This is my little brush. And I'm just put a little bit of that on there. You can use olive oil, grapeseed oil, whichever oil that, that floats your boat, okay? This is uh, my most recent uh, like is this avocado oil, all right? So we just rub that on there. Somebody said free blackie is hot. <laughs> Somebody said y'all must not be feed black. Honey, blackie eat better than everybody in this house, okay? It, better than everybody. He just rebellious. He just want to do what he want to do. That's it. He just want to do what he want to do. All right. So here we are. Boil that sucker up. Now which one y'all think we should do first? The Alfredo one? I mean, which one we, we should make big? No, I'm going to make the red big because that'd be my favorite. So tomato basil. We're going to put a little bit of that on there. And I'm going to show you. Don't worry. Don't y'all worry. Okay. Here we go. And we're going to just smooth that around. And we made pizza before. This is just an idea if you got pizza crust, if you got some tortilla shells, if you got uh, anything that you can put, you know, to make you a pizza. Cauliflower crust. When you got some old veggies and you don't want them veggies to go bad, honey, throw them bad boys on a shell or a pizza uh, crust, honey, and make you a pizza. That, let that be your food for the night. And I told y'all, I get the gluten-free vegan one. Only because in my mind that made me think I'm getting skinny when I eat it. I don't know why. I don't know who made me think that. I don't know what lie I've told myself. To say, girl, if you get gluten-free, you can eat the entire pizza if you want to. I don't know why I've told myself that lie. But it has worked. Okay? The lie has worked and stayed the same. So that's what I do. Okay? So we put a little red sauce on there. Okay? Okay, here we go. Yeah. Honey, you right. Blackie do say he can do it because it's his business. You right. And I bought, what did I, where my other cheese that I bought today, y'all? Oh, I, well, I'm going to use what I got first. So I got some Follow Your Heart vegan mozzarella shreds. So, honey, we're going to use that, okay? Asia, girl, ain't this hair growing? Honey, this hair is growing. Honey, I need to wash it right now, child. She looking like who did it and what for. But, you know, it don't bother me none. Nothing at all. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this cheese on here first to follow your heart cheese. Okay. Hold your mule. I'm gonna show y'all. Don't y'all get brand new on me. You also roast the veggies that are past their prime. That's right, Heather. That's right, girl. Roast them suckers. You wanna roast some veggies? You can roast them. Do whatever you gotta do not to waste no food. That's what I do. Honey, come up with stuff. Make, make a soup. Whatever you got to do not to waste no food. Okay, so that's some cheese on there. That's the ball of your heart. Cheese, okay? Now, look. Now my favorite part. We'll put a little bit of onion. Put a little bit of onion. Can y'all see? 
We throw a little bit of onion on here. Child, throw a little bit of onion. Throw some red peppers. A couple of these red peppers. Torsa, you running? Wait, who's that? Oh, that's you, Leah. I thought it was, I was like, why is she? It looked like you were running. Girl, you moving fast, honey. You just moving fast. That's that track in you. Honey, she moved through here. It looked like she was running fast, child. So we got, so far we got cheese. Um, I mean, oil, uh, avocado oil. We got uh, our red basil tomato sauce. Can y'all see it? We got um, follow your heart mozzarella cheese. Uh, we got red peppers and red onions. Okay, I must like red. Yeah, do some spinach. Honey, y'all know how I feel about my greens, child. You throw you some greens on some. Honey, your whole day be together, okay? And if you had a bad day, make sure you eat some greens for dinner. Honey, because that'll just pull everything back together, honey. Get you back on task. Sometimes you have a day, you be like, Lord, I don't know why this day was just a mess for me. I don't, I don't know what was going on today. Honey, throw you some greens in something. Honey, that thing will get your day all the way back. You just start getting clear-minded. Perspectives just start coming into place. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, I believe that in my spirit. So here we are. Oh, we're gonna throw a little bit of um mushrooms on here. So a little white mushrooms we had. Honey, this thing finna be good. Did I tell y'all that it was finna be good? Lord Jesus. If you don't know, you better call somebody and ask them. Call somebody right now. Somebody call somebody right now and say, Do y'all believe that Tab food finna be good tonight? And watch them tell you. Well, they tell you, yeah, it's finna be good. Honey, that's what I told them. That's just me talking to myself. Myself said, girl, did you tell him? I said, yeah, girl, I told him. Sometimes you got to remind yourself. You got to remind yourself when you gonna, when you know something. And some, sometimes we forget when, can't nobody tell you nothing? Can't nobody tell me this ain't finna be good? This ain't finna be good. So now we got mushrooms and spinach. Um, do I want to put a little broccoli on it? I think I'm going to save that little bit of broccoli for the Alfredo one. Oh, but I forgot, y'all. I bought some, um, first of all, we're going to put these sun-dried tomatoes on there. Girl, said it. Ooh, said it, said it. You, you hit that on the head. You know I got to put me some sun-dried tomatoes on there. Honey, it's when I... I ain't finna tell y'all no more how this thing finna be good. I'm just not going to tell you. I'm, that's what I'm not going to do. I, I'm not finna tell y'all how it's finna be good. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to tell you one more time. Baby, this thing finna to be good. And I bought some black olives. Did I tell y'all that? I got too excited when I remembered my sun-dried tomatoes. And I was mid-sentence. But let me, um, I bought these again. Because, you know, I, I love the reclosable, just the reclosable lid. And it's aluminum in there. So it's very recyclable. Because I be trying to do right, y'all, and recycle as much as I can. And, honey, you mess with me, honey, this right here will be a container that I put leftovers in. Who judge you? Ain't we all family? Don't act like your grandma ain't had that country crop butter container in that cabinet for 12 years after she used that butter. Don't act like that. You know she did. Honey, y'all done ate cereal out of that bowl, potato salad out of that bowl. Honey, y'all know how to recycle? Yeah. That's why folks tell me, you shouldn't use plastic. I said, honey, you think I'm throwing this away? You thought I was throwing this away? Girl, no, this thing will get thrown away about four years from now. If that, if it get thrown away then. And don't talk to me crazy. Oh, I know how to recycle, child. My granny taught me how to. Hey, let me tell you something. You see this jar right here? Because it's the artichoke. My granny would put leftover anything in here. Honey, grits. Uh, this is big enough for a full plate of spaghetti. My, gran my granny would have fit a full plate of spaghetti. And you know, my sister, Tasha, just like her. Honey, right now I bet you my sister in her house got a container about this big or half the size with something from breakfast in it. You believe me? I'm trying to tell you. I ain't lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The, I'm telling you the truth. Y'all know y'all. Y'all know them country crop brown um, bows. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Them brown bows. My sister got some right there in the cabinet. I know she do. Or a Crisco bow where they put all the put all the old grease in it. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I take y'all all the way back down there. I take y'all all. Honey, somebody grab my keys because I'm gonna take y'all all the way back down there because y'all wanna play. Okay, don't play. Y'all know good and well that Crisco can, and somebody right now still speak, uh, still cooking with Crisco. 
Oh, we ain't gonna say no names. But I know. And look, whole lot of them got my last name. My maiden last name and my married last name. Still cooking with that Crisco. I know you is. Don't even know what it is. Like, who is Crisco, honey? Somebody you do not know nothing about. You don't know nothing about his family. Nothing about his bloodline. Nothing. Just cooking with him. Just cooking with him. With Chris and them. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh, so Rachel, why put oil on the crust? Oh, because when I went to Pieology, they make vegan pizzas from scratch, and they always put a little uh, olive oil on the crust before they put the marinara, and honey, I like the thought of it, and that's why I do it. No particular reason. It tastes good to me, and that's why I do it. Honey, Joyce, you know I was coming next for that Cool Whip bowl. Girl, you know the people putting the stuff in the Cool Whip bowl. We ain't getting brand new tonight, y'all. We ain't in this thing, ain't we family? Yes, God. Okay. So we got, here we go, for those that's just tuning in. Baby, oh, pickle jars. I'm going to show y'all in just a pair of seconds what I got in the refrigerator right now in one of my pickle jars. But for now, I'm going to tell y'all real quick, if you're just tuning in, look, if you ain't did it already, please go and hit share, okay? But this is, we making a gluten-free crust pizza, okay? We got gluten-free crust, got a little avocado oil. You can if you want to or you don't have to. Um, a little tomato basil sauce. We got uh, follow your heart vegan shredded cheese, red onions, red peppers, mushrooms, spinach, uh, sun dried tomatoes, black olives. Did I forget anything? Did I forget anything? And now I'm gonna put just a little bit of chopped garlic throughout there too. Okay, throw a little bit of that on there because I can do that if I want to. Yeah, because it's my business. You can do, how, you know, whatever you want. And that's what I'm going to do, whatever I want. Honey, I got the wrong, look, got the wrong spoon. Yep. Ooh. Honey, if y'all can see what I just did. And this, look, I love garlic with Lord Tabitha. Hold your meal. Let me do this. And then we're going to put a little bit of basil leaves because I forgot to get some fresh ones and I ain't really want to buy no more fresh produce today because I had so much in the refrigerator so I really didn't forget I just didn't get none okay so I got that basil and then I got a little bit of garlic powder that I'm gonna put on here because I can do that if I want to do that too because that is also my business okay so here we go we got all this on here and then just because I feel like it I'm gonna throw a little bit of cheese on the top Cause I got a little bit left in this bag. So I'm gonna just toss that on there. I'm gonna just sprinkle that on there. Cause I can do all of that. If that's what I wanna do. And some people like a whole, whole lot of cheese. Like my husband, he love a whole, whole bunch of cheese. I like a whole bunch of veggies. I like to taste my stuff too, okay? So I have Blackie. What did I tell you about that growling? Now you cut that out. Ain't you a good boy? You don't do that. You don't do that. <sighs> we uh, apologize for the interruptions. He has apologized. He said he was sorry. He just gets beside himself sometimes. Okay. Oh, what's the crust again? Oh, for y'all that's just uh, tuning in, this is Mama. Hold on, it's a roll down. Put a little one in because it's the same one. Mama Mary. Y'all know Mama Mary. Mary and them. Mama Mary's gluten-free uh, thin pizza crust. Now, I already, you know, already got the stove on. So, y'all want to just uh, pray real quick over this? Let me just check. I got the stove on 400. Uh, but you know, I usually have it on 350. But I think this one said, uh, what do it say on here for this crust? It says it takes 10 minutes. And I like for it to get crispy, and I like for my veggies to cook down. So I'm actually going to turn it up just a little bit, okay? Oh, excuse me. Thought I was going to have a situation. Let us pray over this thing before we make the other one, okay? Lord, we come to you right now. We just say thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for not letting all them vegetables that I had in there go bad before I could figure out what to do with them, Lord. Well, we thank you for, for the money to be able to buy that gluten-free pizza crust today, God, because we know it was not on sale, Lord. But we just say thank you for allowing us to be able to do so. Lord, we pray that you just cover this whole thing, cover everybody watching, Lord, and these things that we pray and ask. Amen. Amen. Okay. Hold your mule.
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on in the oven. All right. So we're gonna set the timer because you know I'm a Fitbit. And did I tell y'all how much I was walking and, and doing stuff today? Honey, I got right now. I got twenty-one thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven steps. That'll put it in per uh, perspective for somebody. Y'all know how many steps that is. That's why I got on my pajamas already for the night. Cause, honey, I'm tired. Don't ask me to go nowhere else today. Honey, don't ask me to do nothing. Honey, we walked to the gym, walked home from the gym, worked out at the gym, ran errands. I delivered cakes today. I shipped T-shirts today, baby. I packed orders, honey. I studied. Child, I don't ask me to go nowhere else tonight, okay? Please. Don't ask me to go nowhere else tonight. So anyway, now we got these little ones, okay? We got these little bitty ones. All right, so this, I, I think I'm gonna experiment and I'm gonna make the little Alfredo one and then I'm gonna probably just make a little um, regular cheese, just plain cheese for my son, okay? I don't think my husband, he ain't gonna want this. He gonna want something else. See, I got other stuff over there. I gotta cook some veggies and stuff because, you know, he want, he want something else. So anyway, now, let's try this white sauce. Hold on, let me rinse off my little brush. And we're gonna do something else. We're gonna do a little Alfredo. Oh, Lord, I'm wasting stuff. Hold, hold your mute. Yes, son. Did you have a snack already? Mommy's gonna make you a little um, cheese pizza, okay? Yeah, but can I have a... You have a eye. You want to say hello to people on the live? Did you see? Did you see mommy is on the live? Yeah. Did you say hello? No. Well, you should say hello because if you walk by, it's just like walking by somebody on the street. If you walk by, you have to acknowledge. You say, "Hey, how you doing?" Hi. All right. Okay. So now. Goodbye. He said, "And goodbye." How do you order a shirt? Oh, it's on my Etsy page. There's a link, I think, on this page. But I'll repost the link if you want. And if I posted anything, did I post a link? I haven't posted it lately. But I know it's on my page in my, um, what is it, the About, if you click on that, I think. But I'll post it again for you. Brenda, girl, I've been, I'm telling you, I've been doing it today, honey. Look, 21,906 now. Finna hit. 22,000. Child, before I go to bed, it's going to probably be 25,000 just from walking through the house and doing stuff. So, this is the uh, Victorious Vegan. You know, I've used that. Sometimes I put a little bit when I'm making regular Alfredo. I like to make my Alfredo sauce homemade, y'all know. Um, but if I have not enough, I'll add a little bit and mix it Hi. in. Hey, my buddy. So, let's just try it. Hi. Okay, buddy, you just said hi now. Now you... Hi. You interrupted mommy, right? Okay, that's right. I'm just telling you, you gotta be cautious of what you're doing, son. Okay, so I'm gonna do two. We're gonna do these like this, okay? One of them gonna be his little plain cheese, okay? Um, oh, girl, girl Tracy, thank you, honey. I ain't set now time. I got to looking at my my uh, got to looking at my doggone time. I mean, my, my what's the name? That ain't it. Y'all, how to, look. I, I done forgot how to set the dog on timer. I just figured it out the other day, remember? Okay, what was it? Look, hold your mute. In the meantime, I know it was 628 when I started running my mouth. But I wanted to be in there for probably more than 15 minutes. Here we go. I mean, more than 10 minutes. So probably more about 15 minutes, all right. So new alarm, we're gonna set this sucker for, okay, 6.31 right now. So we gonna set it for six, I'm just gonna say 6.45, okay? That's what we do, but I'll check it before then if I feel the need, if the, if the aroma starts to awaken my spirit. Yeah, okay. Honey, yes. Set it for seven minutes. I'm going to set it for 6.45. And I believe that'll be all right. And then I'll check it in the meantime. All right? So I'm going to do this one real quick for my son with just the regular red sauce on it. 
and cheese okay and I'm gonna use and set because now I didn't use up all of my um, fall of your heart cheese but I still got this one right here this is the uh, -uh. Did y'all just see a fly fly through my house? Honey. Y'all know I don't like a fly. Honey. Woosa. Woosa. It's a fly in my house. Lord have mercy. Let me hear it and, 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 and do this food. I don't like no flies in my house. I don't no flies landing on, on, on my food. I know I'm from the country, and I know we had flies, but I didn't like them then, I don't like them now, especially not when I'm cooking. All right, so I'm using the Dyer brand on this, um, and all my vegan cheeses, I, I grab them at, uh, at Whole Foods. Sometimes they have them in other places too, but I, they always have them at Whole Foods. They have different different ones. Honey, hold your, look, hold your mule. I'm trying to move right fast on this. Get this right on out of here. So I can put them on in the stove. Uh, I'm going to throw him a little garlic powder on his. And so if you got kids, y'all, this is a great little idea. Let me show you. Okay. If you got kids and they like a little cheese pizza, my son don't know the difference. Okay. They don't know the difference. You just put um, put his little marinara on there. Throw him some little... Uh, little... Um, Vegan cheesy sack. I lost my train of thought because I feel like the fly is watching me. <sighs> I don't like it. Okay, I don't like it. All right. Now, that's his. Let me see if I got an extra pan. Uh, where am I? I know I had a little extra pizza pan somewhere in here. Well, maybe I didn't. I thought I did so I could throw his on in there while I make this other one. But... Hold on, let me check one more thing. Hold your mule, y'all. Hold your mule. Child, I done got, I done got thrown all the way off. Honey, right. it got thrown off. So I just knew I had another pen in there, but I guess I don't. Okay, you saw the fly fly around my head. Robin. Honey. Y'all pray to fly. It's gone somewhere. Okay? Okay? All right. So now we're going to do this. Um, I just had washed this. We're going to do this, the white sauce one. Okay? So I'm, I'm doing this one real quick. I'm going to show you, though, because I'm going to show y'all what all we're going to put on it. So you know how when you make an Alfredo, like a, a mushroom Alfredo or spinach Alfredo, you know how we made the Alfredo the other day? I figure we can make an Alfredo pizza because then it's going to kind of just taste like like a garlic bread or something, right? That's what I say. Honey, Brittany, girl. Honey, sometimes it be that way. You got to be smart in your buys, honey. Smart in your buys. All right. So, I I showed y'all earlier that little artichoke. I had already opened one, so I ain't going to open this one because this is still stuck. So, this little artichoke, this been sitting up in my cabinet. And so, this says it's good until December 2018. So I said, let me hear if you use it. But I got these at the 99 cents stuff. These is artichokes. And they sit inside of um, garlic and salt and spice. Okay? So I got these. And I'm going to put them on this right here. On this pizza. I don't know if you like artichoke. But I'm going to just put a thin layer on here first. Because I can do that before I put the cheese on there. Okay, actually, I think I might even put, well, I guess I can't put all thin layers because it's kind of hard because they kind of big. I'm going to just throw them on there. I can do that if I want to because it's my pizza. So that's how they looking. Okay, throw you some artichokes on there, artichoke hearts, artichoke. Don't choke on them, just throw them on there. Okay, so we got that on there. All right, put your little spinach. Put you some more spinach on there. All right. Put a little bit of spinach. Put a little broccoli. Can y'all see? Y'all see what I'm talking about? Let's throw us a little broccoli on here. All right? Throw a little broccoli. And I'm doing this one without putting the cheese on until the end. Uh-oh, what the? Oh, look alive. My 
my um, Fitbit is telling me I haven't did enough steps. So I'm, I look, I'm looking alive. Here we go. I ain't not live, Fitbit. So we put a little bit of broccoli. Throw us some mushrooms on here. Let's break these up because this is a little bitty one. We're going to break this sucker up. Can y'all see? We're going to break it up like that. And we're going to put this on there. And you do it your way. This is, listen, ooh, ain't no right or wrong way to do this. Throw a couple of the red peppers on there if you want. Because it's your pizza. You do whatever you want. Whatever you got in your refrigerator that you want to get rid of and it don't sound crazy to you, honey, throw it on there. All right? Um, just because I love onion. I'm going to throw some more red onion on there because I want to. Throw that on on there too. Okay, just a little bit of that. So you see that? Okay. Yes, God. Um, and then we're going to throw a little bit of garlic, pieces of garlic on it. The little minced or chopped garlic. Uh-oh, that's that's juice. Hold your mule. Let me get my little spoon. I mean, actually, let me just use my finger. Because it's mine, and I can do that. Mm -hmm. Go do that. Okay. Then we're going to put a little bit of basil. All right? Throw a little bit of basil. Hey, Tanya, come on in here, girl. Honey, you late, but we still here in the party. Um, And then, y'all want sun-dried tomatoes on this, too? We can put that on there, too. We can do all things that we want to do because it's our business. And it's whatever we want because we making it. Yeah. So I'm going to put a couple of sun-dried tomatoes on here. All right, this is our Alfredo pizza. Y'all want black olives? Because I'll put that on there, too. You do? Okay. Black olives it is. Honey, whatever you want. It's all veggies. Honey, it can't, it can't go wrong. Might make you go uh, more regular. But, baby, it's going to be good. Now, look. Okay, there you go. You got that. We got Alfredo sauce. We got hearts of uh, uh, artichoke hearts. We got spinach, mushrooms, onions, garlic, black olives, and a little bit of broccoli. Okay. What is the Alfredo sauce base? It is, that's a good question. This one is the vegan one, and its base is cashews. So if you have a nut allergy, I'm so sorry, you, you, you can't use this one. This one has cashews in it. Um... It's non-dairy, of course, because it's vegan, but it's creamy cashew with fresh garlic, black pepper, um, rosemary, raw sugar, uh, natural cocoa butter flavor. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else in there. Cornstarch, gum. Uh, what is that? Gum acacia? Is that how you say that? But there's no, um, but there is cashews in it. So if you got a little allergy, honey, it's a no for you. Okay? If you got that allergy, I'm sorry. But I, I have shown folk how to make one. Um, using like a, like some cheese, some different, like a soy cheese. This cheese right here is, oh, this is made with coconut oil, tapioca, um, starch. Because you can always, so this is not with nuts right here. This is Dahlia mozzarella, and you can use vegan cheese to make your own Alfredo sauce. Okay? Okay, I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to show y'all this too. Hold your mule. Now, this one right here, this mozzarella style... Um, Daya, this is the first one I've seen like this. I mean, first time I've used, this is their new one. This one, I've used their other one, but this one is their new one. It even feels different. So this one says it melts even better. So we're going to see, honey. Daya, Daya, we're going to see, honey. We fin to see. All right? So here we go. What time is it? 641. I'm going to check on our other pizza anyway. All right? So here we go. That's it covered. Um, and then that's the other one with the little cheese on it. Remember? Okay. Somebody said they're allergic to nuts. I'm sorry, honey. I know. Um, it's pretty good, but I like, when I make my own, honey, it's it's amazing. Okay. Hold your mute. Let me throw this one in here. Ooh, mine is ready. Jesus. Yes, God. Mm. Honey, look, we almost burnt it up. Hold your mute, but it's just like I like it. Yes, God. Ooh. That was the pizza. That wasn't me. The pizza was singing. Baby, look at this pizza, honey. Get y'all life all the way together. Honey, do you see 
what the Lord has done in that oven. Honey, he can set this thing straight on fire. Mm. Honey, that's how the mothers in the church, when they don't want to say nothing, they just... Mm. Get to shaking that arm and that arm, that that extra that uh, Sunday school arm. That's what I call that right there. When it mm -hmm. so he been so good, you don't have to say nothing, but you just shake. I bet you didn't remember that little shake thing, that shake weight. I bet you the mother of the church came up with that, and, and somebody stole that idea from watching her do that. Mm. My God, my God, honey, do y'all see this pizza? Do y'all see it? That is pizza language, okay? Uh, not Italian, just straight pizza language from the pizza gods. When your pizza look like this, honey, a whole different language comes about. Tell me what I know. I know this. I'm telling you. Honey, I'm going to let that thing cool off for just a second. And then we're going to taste it. Honey, it's going to be good. In, look, in the meantime, I'm going to switch it over uh, to one of my big plates so I can put the other pizza in the oven. Honey, is y'all as excited as I am? Waisha, honey, hey, from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Honey, do I use vegan dough? Absolutely, it's it's vegan crust. I didn't I didn't make the dough, but I bought this one. This one is gluten free, and it's vegan. It's Mama Mary. I don't know Miss Mary, but she's somebody mama, and I respect her because I didn't use this before. And honey, it's good. Miss Mary, Mama Mary, honey, if you're watching, baby, I, I appreciate you. The work that they did for this, where y'all located? Honey, Miss Mary, where y'all where y'all at, girl? They ain't even got Miss Mary's address on there. I don't like that. Miss Mary, Miss Mary, we should be able to contact you. Honey, where where is this at, Miss Mary? Where do you live? If anybody know Miss Mary, tell her. I said, girl, I thank you. I appreciate you, okay? Uh, but I don't know where she is. I looked it up. Somebody at my door. Hold your mute. with the sunglasses on. It's Blackie. Okay. Blackie, Blackie, it's all right. Girl, he's been cutting up today. What you mean? Honey, I just made you some pizza. Ain't it cute? Yeah. Honey, it's finna be good. It's Honey, so cute. hold, hold y'all mute so I can get Blackie together. Okay? <laughs> hold y'all mute. Blackie, you know Zaynab, and you cut that out. But you Blackie ain't it. seen me in a minute. Blackie said she got on sunglasses. It's sunny yeah. outside and I had a headache. Cut it out. Be good boy. Girl. I let his afro. You let his afro. Yeah. Girl, ain't that afro? Uh, 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 uh. No. Cut it out. All right. We gonna, <laughs> we finna eat this pizza. I thought I transferred it over. Look, Zaynab threw me off because, honey, I forgot that some other was coming. I'm sorry. Girl, it's all right, Zaynab. What is going on, girl? Hey, babe. I miss you too. Ooh. Look at that. So this is a vegan pizza? You know it's a vegan pizza. What else I'm gonna make? I didn't know if you was making food for the family. Oh, I'm gonna make food for them, but they got some pizza in the oven, but I'm only I only cook vegan on the live. Okay. Even right. if I cook for chance okay. and I ain't. Listen, I apologize. Let me go sit down. Look. <laughs> see, see how your friends come and do you? That's yeah. <laughs> so listen. Yes, look, they talking about hey, we got company. <laughs> do y'all know Zaynab? She's a comedian. If you don't know her, look her up. Zaynab Johnson. Honey, you look, your life will never be the same. Okay? Hey. Hilarious. Oh, wait. Look, y'all. Why the thing just now going off? 
Oh no, it's telling me to look alive, honey. I've been doing this all. I've been doing this all day. Been working out. I'm over. I already got over twenty two thousand steps in there. Oh really? Yes. And it keeps telling me look alive, honey. I'm gonna be looking dead if I get to thirty thousand. So look, I transferred it over because I'm gonna use the rest of the veggies and make those little ones. But honey, you know. Oh, somebody said check the other pizza. Thank you. Oh, they all right, because I put them on the top rack. Very good, thank you. Now, where are my cutting scissors at? Because y'all know I like to cut my pizza with scissors. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Let me rinse them real quick. Hold your mute. Yes, this is going to be good, girl. It's hot. Oh, Leah's in the back. He's oh, in the back with Leah, cool. yes. So y'all know, I like to cut my, my pizza with scissors. Blackie, please be a good boy. How are you? Blackie, be good boy. What did mommy say? What did mommy say? Did mommy say? You stopped that. See how this is the real house? This is the real house. You hear him trying to do that? Honey. So here we go. Cut this pizza. Over here. Mm. Girl, you see this a production studio? Yay. Oh y'all. It's so hot. Honey, tonight is gonna be this kind of night. Cause I already know it's gonna go down like this. Okay? But let me get a fork. Or a spoon. Or what or whatever is clean. It's gonna be a spoon because I can't get the thing. Look, it's so doggone hot, but I want to show y'all how to cut me a piece. See that right there? Somebody said, is she, is she from Hell Day that came on BET? Yes, that's the same thing they <laughs> Many moons ago, I was actually on an episode of Hell Day too. Did you know that? <laughs> Honey, nobody cares about that though. I cut up on there though. I did, I, I did, I cut up. So here we go. Y'all ready? It's so hot. Ooh. It, look, it's so doggone hot, but I, look, you know I'm fast and I want to eat it right now. Are we ready? Are all hearts and minds clear? Honey, somebody said, can Choice give us a sprinkle? Honey, you know I told y'all, Choice lost her phone privileges. Last day of school is this week. She'll get it back after that, after I see that report card. Okay, if not, it'd be a, a very quiet summer on the phone. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Honey, this is um this new edition good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Throw it back. Hey, honey. I love a good piece of pizza. I just do. Damn. I know you don't be liking cheese. Mm -hmm. But you gonna taste the pizza? No, I gotta wait till the sun goes down. Oh, I forgot it's Ramadan. <laughs> and what time does the sun go down tonight? I think eight on the dot. We're gonna be long gone. Zaynab can't eat till the sun go down. Yeah, but I'll taste it. But time. she's gonna taste it afterward. So, leave a comment. And she'll, look, she'll leave a little comment, okay? <laughs> Ooh, honey, let me go check the other one right before. I just want y'all to see it. Mmm. Oh, that was clapping. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I can't even do all that dance. I forgot. I ain't got no bra on. Honey, they little, but they still be moving. This is one for Quest. Okay, so y'all, so you see, uh, Quest, his is, this is pretty good. It could, it could be in there for about maybe two more minutes. Yeah, it needs to be in there for about two more minutes. So right here is the Alfredo one. And that needs to cook down a little bit more too. But so that y'all can see it. Don't it look good? Mmm. Aren't they cute? Mm -hmm. I'm cooking them on the top though. Maybe I should cook them on the bottom. About. This is a gluten free uh, crust. Mm. Look, gluten free mama now. That's what it's called, mama. Uh, Mama Mary's uh, crust. <laughs> so right here. 
That's why I said you need to go live when Zaynab try it. Y'all. <laughs> that'll be in another hour. I don't know what y'all responding to because I was cutting up. I'm trying to read all of your comments. But this is good. That Alfredo, look, I'll maybe do a little video of choice trying. But it still need to cook for a little bit longer. Hmm. Oh, tonight's the last night of Ramadan? No. Oh. It's the 10th night, which is great because it's only 10 more days. Oh, it's the 10th night. It's 10 more days. Somebody said it's the last night. It's not yet. 10 more days. Somebody said you'll be make uh, Annette, you're gonna be making pizza tomorrow. Very good, girl. Oh, Bonnie, that's the truth. They little, but they still be moving, honey. And would jump up and down, honey. And ain't as comfortable. It might fly out of this little V neck. I don't know, because they thin. Okay? Flapjacks, thin. You know, I done breastfed two children. Is that too much information for somebody? It's all right. So anyway. Since Zaynab is here. Somebody said, I like that crunch on that pizza. Honey, don't you like a good crunch on a pizza? <laughs> Honey, if you just tuned in, I'm about to go, but... Mm -mm. Don't cut it short, though. Wait a minute. We're going to run it down, okay? What type of crust, if you just came in? Mama Mary's, gluten-free. I seen somebody... Um, I don't know who she was but when I looked it up. I seen a little girl do a little vegan review on this. Um, and so I have been using it ever since. You can get the big one. Or you can get the small ones. They come in a little bitty mini ones too, okay? We use that. And for this pizza, we put a little avocado oil. We use some uh, tomato basil marinara sauce. We use uh, the follow your heart mozzarella shredded cheese. The red peppers, sun-dried tomatoes, spinach, mushrooms, garlic, black olives. And that was it, right, y'all? And some, oh, basil on the top. A little fresh basil on the top. I was burping, trying to keep this together. The 15, oh, yeah, somebody else said the 15. Please put later what was on the first piece that I came in late. Honey, I just ran it down, but I'm going to put it in the comments. I will read, either I'll put it in the comments or I'll re-edit the uh, description of this video and I'll put it on there, okay? So, look, last little bit. Mm. <laughs> It's good. I love a good little piece of pizza. So look. Remember, don't let your veggies go bad in the house. You got some veggies, either, honey, either throw them in a the pot with some water or vegetable broth, make you a good old soup. Or, honey, get you some pizza crust and throw it on there. And make you a pizza. Even if you ain't got... Oh, that's why I, tell you, I, I had red onions on here, too. Even if you ain't got no um pizza crust, no, no, not pizza crust, cheese. No vegan cheese, honey, you ain't got to have cheese. Somebody said, am I going to Orlando? Absolutely, honey. I'll be there on Friday morning. I leave Thursday night here, and I'll be there on Friday morning. And on Wednesday, honey, we're going to announce whoever won for the kitchen takeover. So if you already got your tickets, and if it's four of y'all together combined, honey, we're going to announce. I'm going to be in somebody's house on Friday. We're going to be cooking together live from your house. Okay? I can't wait. So, we're going to announce it on Wednesday. All right? Um, Look, y'all. I'm just eating the black olives and cheese. What red sauce did I use real quick? Organics tomato basil. Right here. Can you see it? I know that light is a little rough. But it's the organics tomato basil. I like to use um, pasta sauce for my pizza sauce. That's just me. But you can use whichever you want. When will I be in Chicago? I'll be in Chicago August 25th. So August 25th in Chicago. And this weekend, I'll be in Orlando for the event, the Vegan So Simple event, this Saturday. So if you ain't got your ticket, honey, go on and get them. They'll be sold at the door as well, but go on and get them early. So you can look, be in the wind, and let me come on to your house and we can cook together in your kitchen. And then in North Carolina, I'll be there July 11th. Y'all know y'all got to come and show out with me in my home state. Let me check this pizza real quick for y'all go so y'all can at least see it, okay? All right, all right. Let me see. 
Indeed. Zenith, how did your audition go, girl? It was three of them. It was great. Oh, come on, three. Mm -hmm. That's a good number. Hold your mute. Even the last one, I had very little confidence in myself, but it, I, I just said after the attribute. And it wasn't good. That's how you gotta be. It's just one of them roles that's so like quirky, like you you like, mm, this ain't us. Way too confident for this amount of quirk. If um, that makes sense. Yeah, you know what I'm it, saying? It, but you can't really identify with it. Yeah. Gotcha. But I played it. I did my best. That's right. We just talking, acting, talking. <laughs> we just talking, acting, talking, honey. That looked like I could uh squish it together and make it a taco. You could. Mm -hmm. This one has a uh Afredo. Though I know you don't really like cream sauce, yeah, but it's a regular Alfredo or vegan. It's vegan. vegan I'm yeah. Sorry. I, I so here know, we go, y'all. <laughs> Look, that's how you know Zainab is a regular. Like she know I cook everything at the house, but here we are. So this is the Alfredo one. I still want this crust to cook a little bit more. It's, oh, it's, it's pretty. It might just be because it's hot. But here we go, y'all. Y'all see it? Miss Connie, I don't have Tennessee on my list yet, but child, we show hope so. We show hope to come in New York. I would love that. Okay, here we go, y'all. So this is the Alfredo choice. Choice must be sleep. And so with this one, we're going to use a little bit of Parmesan and sprinkle that sucker on the top. Because you can do that if you want to. You do whatever you want because it's your business. Okay? Throw a little bit of that on top. And throw a little bit of the little basil on the top, honey. And that'll be some good eating. It's look, it's so small, but if y'all are begging me to try it, I might. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, you don't believe they begging me to try it? Ain't y'all begging me to try it? You see her saying that laughing? She just she laughing at me, but I know that y'all really, really, really want me to try it, huh? A little piece, just a little piece. Okay, let's just see. Uh, I'm going to cut a little tiny piece so we can try it. Oh, what's in the pickle jar? Let me let this cool down because it's too hot. It's too hot. What's in my pickle jar? Let me show you. If Choice if cho ain't... Okay. She is asleep. So this one is a, uh, it's only got one left. Red pepper. That's how you know I've been eating them. And this is an uh, a avocado. You see that? It look, it's got right cloudy in there. But that's the avocado in there. Pickled avocado. Life changing. Okay? Both of these. All, all both of them. Honey, is life changing. You put them on a salad or a sandwich. Yeah. I want to try that. Pickled avocado. It's so good. It's so good. Okay? Um, look, try it, please. I told y'all. I know, I know, I know. I'm not sudden, Zaynab. I know y'all wanted me to try it. But I gotta, I gotta, I let it cool off just a little bit, and I'ma cut just a little piece off. But I be wanting that crust to be real crunchy, you know. And I, I, I still think it might have could have cooked a little bit longer. Yeah, y'all. Look, I'ma cut a little piece off. Cause look, it's a little pizza anyway. Here we go. Y'all see that? Ooh, honey, it's so doggone hot. But since y'all begged, if you just tuning in, this was the Alfredo pizza. Honey, we still use the same gluten-free crust um, with the vegan Alfredo, uh, artichoke hearts. Ain't that what they call? The artichoke? Yeah, artichoke hearts, spinach, broccoli. Uh, the follow your, uh, not the follow your heart, the dye your mozzarella shreds, a little bit of um, mushroom, peppers, red onion, and black olives. Did I leave anything out? See, Robin, they didn't want me to say this because folks are trying to interrupt the call. Mm -hmm. Robin Reed, you girl, you the one told me about the pickled avocado, and I've been doing it ever since you told me. So, I just put them in the leftover juice. Yeah, put them in the leftover juice. Reuse. Look, it's recycling. No, I bought it like that. This was a jar of pickles. I didn't buy it like that. I bought the pickles. Ate all the pickles. And I ate. <laughs> and what I had left was the juice. So I put the vegetables in the juice. I put avocado in the juice. And I put the red peppers in there. Okay. Oh, sun-dried tomatoes. That's right. I put sun-dried tomatoes on here. 
um, peppers, onions, black olives, mushrooms, broccoli, spinach, the Alfredo sauce. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Mm. Wait, ooh, mm -mm. that's hot. Mm. Ooh. I didn't drop my dog on mushroom. And I was looking at it from here like that mushroom that's why, was about to be so That's good. why that mushroom dropped because Zaynab was looking at it, y'all. Mm. <laughs> Five-second rule. Five-second rule. Mm. It's so hot. Mm. But it's so good. If I didn't have blackie, I'd have ate that mushroom. <laughs> But a dog is a dog. I love him. Baby. That little bit of broccoli. Who knew that broccoli was going to be good on a piece of pizza? Honey, that's good. I love it. Look, I'm going to grab this mushroom. Mm. It's cut avocado in the juice. Yeah. It is. Look. Let me just show y'all. Honey, Robin, tell him, girl. Look, it's already a piece cut off of it. Can y'all see? See? It's just a sliced avocado, and I keep the uh, shell in there because, you know, I mean, the, the seed that keeps it from get, oop, from turning brown. It doesn't make it soggy? Uh-uh. It don't. Maybe like a little bit of the particles fly off of it, but it still be... Burn. Yeah. Honey, it's good. Okay? So anyway... That's it, y'all. The big pizza looked like it had more crunch. That's what I'm saying. I could have let this right here cook a little bit longer, but since y'all was rushing me and y'all wanted me to try it, I went on and did it. But I actually, as it as it gets, as it's been said, huh? It's getting a little bit more. But I can see it like right there in the middle. We can make because I do got a whole lot of stuff sitting on that little piece. Um, oh, I missed your comment, honey. Wait a minute, what'd you say? Let's talk about my beautiful complexion. Oh, thank you, honey. Look, I told y'all it's the water, I think. I just be drinking water. That's that's the secret remedy, honey. And look, look, when I grew up, I we used Vaseline. I know folks be saying, don't use Vaseline, it's so bad for you. But that's what we used when I was growing up. My mom used that. My granny used that. Everybody used Vaseline when I was growing up, okay? And uh, if we had any type of rash, any type of breakout on your face, honey, my grandma would say pee on your rag with your first morning pee. Wipe your face with that. You was good. Okay? I don't know. That's, that, that's, that's honest to God true. That's old school remedies. But sometimes it's still necessary. And that's that. So anyway. <laughs> Listen. That dog goes ain't half is laughing at me. So y'all, we made, I'm going to put this back in there for probably about, three more minutes and just let that crust in the middle cook a little bit more but it's still real good very flavorful um it tastes like alfredo i guess um on, look on a piece of bread or on a piece of crust all right so uh, i absolutely love y'all y'all know i so appreciate y'all every night when y'all come on in the room with me uh orlando baby wednesday we will announce who i'm gonna be cooking with on friday i'll be there Saturday, we're going to cut up at the Vegan So Simple Experience. And, yeah, that's it. I pray tonight y'all all have a good night and tomorrow that you have a good day. And, baby, if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go mess up nobody else's, all right? I love y'all. Bye.